Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with the English Voices in Dragalia. A clawful caper is basically ending by the time you see this. Just wanted before, this video is going to focus on the new banners that are going to come out, and also, I think just the new banners, but I just wanted to give a quick mention that um, if you have not done so yet, you should really, because I did this and I regretted it for, um, uh, I'm not going to the right place. Or there it is. I regretted it. I never did it for uh, thanks, not Thanksgiving, for um, Valentine's Day, and I missed out on the Chocolatiers, which is a limited worm print that I have not been able to get for basically an eight, like half a year, for six months since the last time they reran Valentine's Day. So by the time you're seeing this video, it should you should have basically a day, and if you're seeing this at any point afterwards, then they're gone. But you should definitely pick up all these worm prints right here. Uh, with the 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 Worm Clan duo, Happy New Year's, Herald of Him, Hinomoto, a New Year's battle, and Hanasuki Rally. Excuse me. Um. Yeah, you never know when they're gonna be useful at some point. Um, if you have limited cash, I'd say just make sure to get one copy. And if you had to only get one, get Heralds. And then if you had another one, get the Worm Clan. And then probably from there, you're good to go from there. Then probably Happy New Year. I think they give you Happy New Year, so you don't have to worry about those. Then a New Year's battle, then Hanatsuki Rally. But, yeah. Just a quick reminder. Alright, let's get into it. So there's some new stuff coming out. Uh, so here's something. I incorrectly said this on Twitter, but I'll say it right here right now. So basically for nine days, there's going to be free summons. Uh, for both banners, Flames of Reflection and Windswept Har Harbingers, um, they're single summons, so, and they're only nine, so that means at the end of the, I mean, I guess, so this one's weird because everyone's basically already in full skip mode, because everyone's just kind of saving for Monster Hunter, because there's a good chance that Monster Hunter is limited, but besides Monster Hunter, there's also, oops, my bounty medals have been upgraded, ooh, check out my One Piece, let me quickly put on Do Not Disturb. <laughs> uh, Shoutouts to my One Piece Bounty Rush videos. Anyway, um, the thing I was trying to say is that, so for nine days, you'll get basically 18 single summons. One for Windswept uh, Harbingers and one's for Flames of Reflections. It's better than nothing, I guess. If anything, free Elder Water. I guess that's pretty good. Um, let's see, they reset every day at 10 p.m. The daily deal will allow you to summon once per day for 30 Dementium. Can be used can be used after your free summon. All right, but yeah, that's basically it. I don't know how useful this is gonna be. I don't think I've ever been able to pull something in nine single summons in Dragalia ever in the history of Dragalia. I think um, unless I did that in one of my summon videos. But either way, regardless, nine days, 18 free summons. It ain't bad. It's not the greatest. I would have actually preferred just one free multi. That would have been perfectly fine. Uh, but if you got the ink, if you got the look, and you got the pluck, you can definitely pull one of the units from here. So let's start with the new ones. Uh, we got um, Kirsty. She is a spear unit. Is it spear? Or is it a harpoon? No, it's not a harpoon. It's a spear. Spear. Um, I'm double wrong. It's a lance. <laughs> I mean, lances are, spears are basically lances. Um, but her skills are Patriot's Charge, deals wind damage to the enemy directly ahead. Lethal Operation increases the entire team's strength by 20% for 15 seconds. And she has an HP 50% co ability. Her ability, this one's really interesting. Her ability is Dauntless Strength, increases the strength by 20% for every 15 seconds that pass without the user being knocked back by an enemy. This buff can stack up to three times. All stacks will be lost upon knocked back by an enemy. So basically, if you just get n never get hit, and you n you don't get hit for 45 seconds, that's 60% strength to the entire team. Um, and also she has bog resistance, and then she has poison punish 30%. <sighs> Man, it's... It's definitely interesting, because this is a unit that I feel like... So obviously some of this is going to require testing, and I usually like to wait for um, people to mess around with the new units before I try and figure out like what exactly their purpose is. Uh, Nobu's one of those where everyone, I think, kind of said she was 
terrible, and then the people who used her said, she's good, she's just not uh, the tippity toppiest of, this, of the of the tier list. So I'm gonna kind of wait for Kirsty because I really do think 60% to everyone is kind of insane. Um, especially for the High Dragon Trial uh, Mercury, which I've been able to play. I'm not great at it, but let's assume that... So here's the thing that I'm wondering, if there's like an entire team of Kirsties, and you give, what is 60 times 4? 120, 180... This is the part where... 240? Yeah, 240. If it's not 240, then correct me. Sorry for the bad math, I'm terrible at math. That would be 240% at 45 seconds if no one ever gets knocked back. Now the problem is, is that you do need a healer for that fight. Um, uh, not for the heals, but literally to just avoid all the bullshit that Mercury throws at you. So I don't know. I'll be interested to see how people... I hope she's good. She seems really fun if you're... <laughs> For one thing, good at never getting hit. Um, for, if anything, there'll be some really cool videos with her where she's just like never getting hit at all. But it's been interesting seeing some some of the newer units where it's like if you do certain things, then your buffs will be crazy. Um, like the like the mouse girl, which I can't say her name because it's Japanese as hell. Um, her strength is 100% reliant on keeping your counter your your counter your combo up. So. More units like that. Interesting, for sure, for sure. Um, let's go into the dragon. We have AC011 Garland, uh, a robot dragon, an anti-air dragon from the Pervada. Interesting. Deals wind damage to an enemy in a line. He has strength 50% for wind. And he has Dauntless Report, which is if the user is attuned to wind, grants them a one-use divergent shield that nullifies damage less than 40% of the user's maximum HP, every 15 seconds that pass without the user being knocked back by an enemy. Divergent shields can stack with ordinary shields, also the user's strength is increased by 30% when the shield is active. Um, hmm. An interesting dragon for sure. He's similar to Narlahotep. He has the same ability. The one thing I'm wondering is whether or not this is... The problem with these abilities is like you're trying to figure out where they would be best at. I think maybe... For the high dragon trial, it'd be pretty useful if you're playing the role of the healer who has to just get basically dodge. If you've never done a high dragon trial of Mercury, there's um, there's basically two roles. Role one is the DPSs, which three characters have, and then the other role is oh god, dodge everything and hope that they kill him as they kill Mercury as quickly as possible. Um, so maybe I could see it used there. It's a shame it's a strength, but you know. Interesting dragon, for sure. Neither unit seems to me, at least right now, like crazy units to go jump at for. So, all right, let's go in here. Now this one's, this is the Ramona and her sister's banner. Um, at this point, Ramona, you should know, is the girl who's always at the crafting menu, but let me, I guess, quickly run down Ramona. Uh, but just to give a quick look at, Ramona still used in High Dragon Trials. And so is Rena, even though Rena is uh, not tuned for the battle at all. She has um, sleep resistance. That doesn't change the fact that people use Rena nonstop. <laughs> that she's one of the higher blade units. Um, and they don't show the third sister. That's sad. But let me quickly go into what Ramona, Ramona does. She does. She has Forge Buster, which deals plenty of damage to the surrounding enemies, continually tapping the screen during the attack will unleash additional blows with up to a maximum of six. Changing direction is possible during these additional blows. Basically, when she's doing the skill, if you start tapping the screen, like tap, 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 like you, as you can see right there, you deal more damage. You got Smith Shield, increase the entire team's defense by 25%. Her co-op ability is also defense. Her abilities are Prime Strength, increase the strength of an adventurer you are currently controlling by 10% for 10 seconds. Every time their initial skill displayed on the top of their skill list becomes available for use. After, after activation, this ability will not be active again for 15 for 15 seconds. And she also has sleep resistance, so both of these dudes are not... Both these dudes... Both these lady dudes are not really set up for high dragon trials, but both of them are used a whole bunch. Also, strength double buff 13%, increases strength by 13% for 15 seconds each time a defense up buff is received. So basically, every time you use the second ability, you get 13% um, attack, and then every time your first ability is ready, you get 10%. She's good. There's no... 
the everyone at this point knows how good Ramona is. If you have, if you're doing, here's the thing. I don't know if Ramona is good enough to actually like. Ramona is not limited, and this is hurting me because I love you, Ramona, and I love looking at you, and I can't look at you right now. There you go. Um, no, that makes it worse. There you go. Um, I just don't know if this is a banner to go crazy again, because again, Monster Hunter coming up. She's still fantastic though, so if you get her on a single summon, you should be pretty damn happy. And finally, we got Rena. She is, uh, she has Roaring Flames, deals flame damage to the enemy in a line and inflicts burn. Activates skill shift if the attack connects. Phase 2 adds an additional 10%, increases the user's critical rate for 15 seconds, while Phase 3 increases damage to burning enemies. Alright. Ooh, and then her Brazier Boost is immediately ready as the Roaring Furnace skill for use and adds 50% to the modifier applied to critical damage for 10 se for 20 seconds. Basically the skill 2 is what if you had skill 1 again? She has a strength cool ability. She has prime defense 15%, increases the defense you're currently controlling every time her first skill gets ready, skill, uh, sleep resistance, and then every time she gets a defense buff she heals. She gets HP regen. I mean, she gets a lot of regen too. She's crazy. Uh, fantastic unit, still using the high dragon trials. Even though she's literally not built for it because you want paralyzed resistance, doesn't stop people. That's how kind of good she is. Um, and then finally, we got the I think the weakest thing on here, which is the, the dragon, as is always the case. Arctos. Um, his ability is based, this is the part that actually matters, is strength and critical damage 45% and then 55% for critical. It's nothing big. You still would prefer to use, I think, Cerberus, Agni, or um, Konohana Sakio over this guy. Um, that's just the way it is, though. It's the way the game is currently. So yeah, that's the stuff coming up. It's going to be interesting. And the facility event is, of course, coming. Um, oh, also that little sister. See, we're that one right there. She's water, so she's different from her sisters. But yeah, that's all that's coming up to in Dragalia. Remember, if you have the water for it, you should definitely pick up a... Oh, at least one copy of those warm prints because again no idea when they'll be back uh that's basically everything i got i'll see you guys in the next episode for whatever tregalia thing comes up also just to show that i did it i totally have um right here boom all done boom 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 oh all right everyone until next time goodbye I'll wait for the, the, the beat to drop. Huh. Yeah.